What is going on, everybody? TK here. We're trying something a little bit different this time around. We're recording or voicing over some recorded gameplay here. Did a strike and let's see how y'all like it. If you like it, sign off down below. Let me know what y'all are thinking. Wanted to do a little video just kind of mishmashing everything. We're going to go over last season. We're going to go over what's going on this season. Skill based, skill based matchmaking. There's just a ton of stuff to do. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about last season. The season of the worthy. Honestly, not a fan. There was so many things wrong with it. Um, trials did not launch the way it should have. Um, cheaters were all over the place. Beaver codes left, right, and center. It was so bad that literally the last month of the season, I didn't even bother playing because it just was a fiasco like we tried playing trials one night and literally from match one we're facing cheaters back to back to back and i mean we've set the cards several times trying to get out of that connection based matchmaking at the beginning and it was just they were cheaters immediately i mean don't get me wrong i want to support bungie hence why i bought this season but with how last season was, I was honestly worried that I wasn't going to get my money's worth. Then the reveal happened. That reveal could not have gone better. They played it perfectly, keeping everything quiet until right before the season launched. The surprise of, hey, not only are y'all getting a new season today, there's a new dungeon to do. And then add in the fact of, you, we have three years worth of content planned. That in itself is huge, because we've never had that big of a roadmap from Bungie. Yeah, we get a few things like at the start of the season, like, okay, here's what the next few weeks are. You get the little pop-up when you load into game, the, about, this is what's going to be happening next week. But to have them say, we have three years worth of content planned for y'all, that's huge. This is definitely them vaulting content and to bring in stuff from D1 is also a big plus. Players have been wanting that since as far back as I can remember. With all this new stuff and then the season, people are excited, understandably. And there are people that are saying that it's the same cycle. Bungie gives us a whole bunch of new stuff and within a week... People are back to complaining, and I can understand that, but I feel like this season is going to be a little bit different. Um, the activity uh, the, the with the pyramids, it's very unique. Um, yes, we're playing, I mean, it's basically Gambit, but even I, who dislike Gambit with a passion, can actually get behind this thing. It's actually really fun. You get the Umbral Engrams, which lets you pick your loot by focusing, which is another plus. That's why people love Menagerie. That's why people love the Sundial. You're able to select what loot you got, so you're able to kind of pick and choose a little more. Um, the upgrade mechanic, yes, it's very similar to last season's. You have a currency, you give it to the Prismatic Reactor, buy an upgrade, all is right with the world. But... The loot is what makes it where it's not so bad. Last season, there was no picking your weapon or other than the bounty. There was no um, being able to focus on the armor and, and whatnot. There was none of that customizability and that's what makes Destiny great. When Destiny has these things that let you customize, that's when Destiny's at its best in that season. Arguably, this is probably the, going to be the best season so far season of dying was awesome but it didn't have the loot outside of a few guns was not very memorable optative i'm still grinding this thing if you were watching my streams you will know that i am pouring season engrams into that prismatic reactor trying to get a good optative because i want this specific role and the bungee's just like no you can't have it tk but that chase is there and that hasn't really been there since undying honestly because undying yeah you because we i remember we're trying to get that gun and i chased it all the time but then season of dawn came out and with the sundial the way they did everything i was able to get every god roll of every gun within a day 
because of how they did the end at the end where you could uh, spend uh, donate the uh, fractal line that helped get those so easily so that was one downside but at least it was at the end of the season so I was able to get everything then with season of uh, worthy I didn't really care for the loot the, the gun choices weren't that great and the roles nothing stood out to me um, I'm a big PvP player, so I'm looking for PvP roles. Last season was the season of PvE, I felt like. Um, but, I mean, that's just my preference. This season, there looks to be a good mix of good PvP guns and good PvE guns, both from the Prismatic Reactor and just in the loop pool. The, the loop pool update amazing the fact that we can get some of the, our favorite guns that just yeah we're having to grind for them again but now we'll have roles that are going to stay with us throughout the rest of uh for a, a few more years anyway the icing on all of this was announced yesterday though skill-based matchmaking getting removed from the game except for the elimination and survival playlist they needed to have done this a long long time ago with skill based matchmaking in game high tier players are going to get forced to play high tier players every time and yes that protects the lower skill players but it turns every match for everybody into a sweat fest everybody is trying playing against people that are at their skill level so matches go to time every time uh queues are taking longer to fill because there's less people in those gaps it's so different than what it, it would be if without it. Without skill based matchmaking, it's basically okay, here's six players, here's six players, start the match. It, they don't check that. Now, I do worry whether lobby balancing is going to be a thing, because if not, most matches could turn into pub stumps. And what I mean by that is, of course, if a high skill player is on one team, but the other uh, team doesn't have a high skill player, they're going to uh, have a lot harder time trying to catch up. I've seen uh, pictures where there's guys that are dropping 70 kill games, and the other team can barely even drop 70 altogether. So. It's going to be interesting what happens with that. I'm hoping that it'll be overall good for the longevity of the game. Uh, I'm really, me personally, I'm an average player. I'm right there in that gray area where if I win a few matches, I end up facing sweats all the time. When I lose a few matches, I end up being the guy that's curb stopping everybody. So it's just, for me personally, I'm right there in the middle, but I can see the, the worries from, the, from both sides. Um, just looking at it overall, this season looks like it could be really, really good, and I'm excited to cover the content for it. We're going to have more videos coming out later this week for weapons that we've gotten. Um, we're going to have false promises, a, a auto rifle, it's a 360 round per minute, but don't sleep on this thing. This thing's dirty. I've pulled off some amazing games with it so far. Uh, the Hollowed Voices Fusion Rifle with the right perks is basically the Suros Regime of Fusions. Um, we're going to have just content all over the place. Streams are going to be back for Destiny. Uh, we're going to be streaming. I've been streaming at nightly so far, so we're going to be going live again tonight uh, whenever this video gets uploaded. So if you're enjoying the content, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and check the bell so you're notified when I post it here. If you want to catch me at Twitch live, catch me at twitch.tv forward slash Tibbercat. This has been TK and I will see y'all later.